Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best setups for the Demeter at this point in the game. Now, before I get started, I know many of you are trying to find the winners to the Heimdall giveaway, which I did about a week ago. You can find the list of winners in the pinned comment. So the first comment under this video, there's going to be a list of 200 winners. So congrats those winners. It usually takes about two to three weeks to get your prize. So please be patient. And if you didn't win the Heimdall, you also have a chance to win the Eldritch Kepri because I currently have a giveaway for that uh, running. I'm going to be announcing the winners to that, I believe it's next Tuesday. I'm going to leave a link to that giveaway in the pinned comment and also the video description. So with that aside, I guess let's get started with the first build here, the Mace build. So here are the stats for the Mace at max level. Now, I think one thing you're going to notice with all of these builds, they are all close range builds. And there's kind of a reason for that. Um, you know, typically when you are in the Demeter, you are teleporting to a teammate, which means you are putting yourself at risk. So you're not really hanging back, uh, which means the close range builds are going to be the optimum build. So I have here, um, you know, nuclear amplifier, repair amplifier. Um, I happen to have the Jerry Fortune pilot on here, but you could use the app meter as well. And I also have the uh, Nebula drone on here. So we have the Suppressor. The On Repair Unit Defense. Uh, we have two of these. And also the On Mild Damage Absorber. And I will be doing a separate video on, uh, you know, how to build the strongest Demeter. Where I go through things like, you know, the module combinations, drone chip combinations. Which is the best drone in my opinion. Uh, that's going to be coming up in a separate video. So uh, if that kind of interests you, stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, also guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up as well. So uh, having said that, let's jump into some gameplay here of this uh, Demeter with the Mace weapons. Uh, this guy's going to need some healing here. Hold on a second. We're going to try to heal this uh, Ares up. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. I'm uh, keeping an eye on that player on the left side because I think he's going to get hit pretty bad. So we have um, about 11 seconds here before I can teleport. I'm not sure if he's going to survive that. Oh man. Just looking to see where my other teammates are here. Um, there's a couple on that side but I'm keeping an eye on this, uh, this side here. Hold on a second. Let's teleport to this uh, this Ares. Trying to focus down that uh, siren back there. Um, is that an Ares? What is that? Oh, it's an Ares. Oh man, I need to heal these guys up quickly. Hold on a second. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Trying to keep them uh, healed up. We can take out this um, this Revenant. Whoa, we almost took this player out. Hold on, hold on. He's taking on some crazy damage. Hold on, dude. Took out that player. Double kill. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Trying to protect him. I think we're going to have a player that teleports here. There we go. Hold on a second. Man, this is some really good firepower with these weapons. Trying to, uh, trying to hide behind the shell here. We have another shell. I'm trying to help him out. There we go. I'm going to teleport to him just to kind of provide a shield. Try to take this guy out, and oh yes, <laughs> I almost didn't get that uh, that kill. I think they have a Titan here now. Okay, hold on a second. This is going to be a little bit uh, trickier. Uh -oh. oh man, he got. Jeez, that guy got wiped out. Okay, hold on a second. Oh come on, shield. So you know one of the nice things about the Demeter is it can actually protect you against the blinding weapons. A lot of players haven't figured that part out yet. Oh man. 
You know what? I wish I could teleport to this player right now. I'm trying to help him out. Oh, whoa! That actually did a lot of damage to that uh, Minos. So hold on a second. Um, that guy's being attacked here. So let me just teleport to this player. Let's try to back him up. I'm going to take this player out. He's in our spawn. Definitely don't want a revenant in your spawn. There we go. Nice. Okay, so the next build I have here is the Havoc build. Now, if you don't have the mace weapons, I would say go for the Havoc. Um, because this is really good when it comes to dealing with things like revenants. Uh, because of the great damage. Um, I think the biggest downside to this build is more the range. So 200 meters. But remember, most times you are teleporting to a teammate, which means you are putting yourself at risk and, uh, you know, you are forced to engage at close range. So I think this build is uh, definitely one of the top uh, builds for the Demeter. And uh, in terms of the modules, everything else is the same. Um, again, you could use the App Meter Pilot, um, the drone. I have the Nebula on, but I think maybe Persephone might be a good one or even the White Art. Um, but yeah, let's jump into some gameplay here uh, of the Havoc build. Try to help him out here. Yep. <laughs> I realize now that we're going up against a, a squad. So we took out that uh, that siren back there. We're going to make a push here for... Or at least uh, take out this uh, Kepri. There we go. Double kill. Um, this guy here might need some uh, help. I'm just looking to see... Hold on. I'm going to teleport to this player. Looks like he might need some help here. So you can see how deadly these weapons are versus, um, you know, tanky robots. We're talking about a Kepri in front of us here. <laughs> He's realizing now he doesn't have any health left. Yes! Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna teleport to my teammates on the other side. Let's try to give this guy a bit of healing here. can take out this Fenrir. These weapons are actually perfect uh, versus the Fenrir. Uh-oh. Orbital Strike! Uh-oh. I'm going to put down my Orbital Strike. Maybe that might help. Come on! Yes! Okay, so the next build I have here is the Igniter build. So this build um, is very effective when it comes to dealing with tanks, um, especially Revenants and like Fenrirs. Um, but it does struggle against faster moving bots because of how the flamethrowers fire. So uh, the modules, the pilot skills, everything else is the same. Let's jump into some gameplay here of the Igniter build. You know what? Let me teleport to this guy instead. Let's give him some support. Uh, these guys are actually making their way to our, um, our home beacon there. We got to be careful. Hold on. This guy is pushing me. I got locked down. I'm going to try to support this Fenrir here. Okay, let's see if we can maybe deal with this, um, this Capri. So hold on. Let me just teleport to this guy. Give him a shield. And uh, also some healing. There we go. Let's take that guy out. I'm gonna put the Orbital Strike over there. That's gonna do quite a bit of damage. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Okay, so we have a shell here, which I'm melting through. Look at how much damage we are doing with these flames. Double kill. There's going to be a revenant here. Okay, just watch to see how much damage this does to a revenant. You'll see what I mean. He's kind of keeping his distance, though. Let's try to focus on this guy. I'm going to uh, teleport to this Fenrir, kind of keep him alive here. I want to go for this Revenant. I want you guys to see just how deadly this is to a Revenant. It's pretty insane, actually. So look at look at his Revenant. Melted. Hold on, hold on. 
Let's do that. And there we go. Triple kill. I'm going to teleport uh, to my teammate here. Keep him alive. We have another player on this side. Let's try to take out this guy. Rampage. Okay, and the last build I have here is the Venom build. So the Venom build is kind of like the Igniter build. Um, except these weapons fire a lot faster, especially to, uh, you know, players in flight. So if you're dealing with something like a Harpy, um, you know, a Hawk, a Siren, this will actually hit them a lot more effectively. Plus it has um, Corrosion, which also means it's a good counter to the Skyros robot. So that's kind of why I'm going to include it in uh, this video. Um, in terms of the modules, um, you know, the pilot, pilot skills, everything else is the same. And uh, having said that, let's jump into some gameplay here. Uh, of this Venom build. I actually have very good weapons uh, to counter the shell. The only problem is these guys have a lot of bendy bullets here. So I'm trying to see if I can survive. And if we can take out this player. Look at his health guys. Oh my gosh. And that corrosion is going to eat away at his siren. There we go. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can perhaps teleport to this guy. Oh man. Okay let's try. This guy here. I don't know if I got him. Maybe. Red team has a lot of bendy bullets back there. Wow. Um, I'm trying to see if I can hit that uh, Revenant. So I find these weapons aren't as effective when it comes to dealing with something like the Revenant. But. When it comes to like the Siren or like the Harpy in flight. It actually does a pretty decent job. And remember, because it has corrosion, it's going to be very effective against something like uh, the Skyros. Yeah, this guy, he's actually taking on quite a bit of damage here. He has the White Art drone, so I have to kind of be careful of that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Orbital Strike here so that he stays, yep, so that he gets hit extra, extra bad there. And now we're going to hit him with that. There we go. I'm going to see if I can perhaps teleport to my teammates back there because... Actually, wait. Hold on a second. We're going to try to uh, protect my teammate here. Let's heal him up. Let's deal with this, um, this Al Jung. There we go. Um, I think these guys want to attack, right? Okay, you know what? I'm going to teleport to this, uh, maybe to the shell. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, kind of protect him here. Where is this guy? There's a guy right above us. So you can see how much damage I'm doing to that siren. Because you have the corrosion and also you fire a lot faster. It might actually do a decent amount of damage to Titan too. Although I need to heal here. Hold on, hold on. You know what? He's actually taking on quite a bit of damage. Let me just back away. Oh man, that might actually kill him. We got him guys, we got him. So those are pretty much the best setups in my opinion for the Demeter at this point in the game. If you guys have tried out other builds which you have found to be very effective, please mention it in the comment section down below. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.